Hey dude, this Blazer Project. Well, it's the 25th, and I'm actually installing an early Christmas present that I got, by, I believe, the previous month, because we decided to do Christmas early, and, well, let's just say, because of where my family lives in places, they couldn't make it home, and also this COVID BS really put a damper on things. So, here we go. You can see I got toolbox back from the shop. That was not a cheap one. But that's for a whole nother video I'm going to be doing. And a whole new series which I will list at the end of the video. But we have a Hustler CD radio antenna. The mount that we will be sticking on the side of the toolbox. Plenty of self tappers. Grippers or what they call them Steel clamps with the rubber padding Coax cable and these little buggers are what held me up from installing this sooner these rubber grommets I got this off of Amazon and Trust me. It's well worth the money. It's 125 piece all sorts of sizes and so forth plus I got a drill and a driver set yeah, I'm borrowing my dad's because mine is currently indisposed inside the house. But, this CB antenna is not going to be mounted there. I'm actually mounting it on the side of the toolbox. That way, it's not going to scrape the roofs of the banks again. Which, they will much appreciate. Now, I already have a CB in here. Works just fine, but I cannot get any chatter. So the plan is to put the new one on. It has a core booster. I plan on following the same path I take to get the for where the power cable for my amp comes out of. Just like zip tied along. But then I'm gonna go down and go along like the frame rail and so forth try and incorporate it into the wiring harness before coming up through the bed into the toolbox and out so I've got 18 feet of this stuff which should be plenty I hope famous last words but to begin with I'm going to open the toolbox and get this mounted so Without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, when you're mounting something on like the side of a toolbox and so forth, or side of a vehicle or anything like that, what I have found is find your location first, get one hole pie started, and then just work your way around. And it makes life so much easier. Especially when you're trying to align all these holes. Because trust me, I have done this in the past and... Oh god, it has not turned out well. Don't know how much charge is on this battery. And I'm using my dad's drill because mine's indisposed inside the house. And I just remembered I left the Loctite in the house as well. <laughs> oh well, it's me. Alright. I'm going to shut you guys off, be right back, be back, and have the blue Loctite. Got the blue Loctite, and I always like the paste version. And, hello Mr. Squirrel, wherever you are. So...
one thing I always do is I start at the bottom with this dial and work my way up because it works out so much better and never toss away your back plate. It keeps you from tearing this up. Even though this is made for a mirror, the back plate is there for a reason. Now I just got to do this to all four of these suckers. I'll show you guys off, bring it back when I get this done. Alright, got that mess taken care of. It's all tightened down now. Let's get this hustler out. Now I'm not sticking anything monstrous on the truck. This is stock height, this is what I bought for it. Which is gonna be plenty. There's the antenna, main rod section, and the amplifier. And the instructions. So let's get this thing assembled. So I want to get it mounted to the truck before we even start running the coax cable. reason I'm doing this because I technically do not get any chatter. So, what it looks like is, bring up to you guys, see if I can get it in video. This in here, goes into the bottom here. And gets tightened down with the lock washer. Adjustable right here. Get that nice and snug. There we go. And the antenna looks like it goes up here. Like so after him. screw and I don't have a flat tip screwdriver nice so but pretty much that's how it goes in I'm going to tighten this up and then work on getting this in on the toolbox itself all right we're recording good okay there's a nylon washer that comes with the uh, clamp that apparently goes on first and someone has their stereo blaring just like that then there's a union piece that goes on the bottom Like so, and I'm gonna forget the washer and lock washer that came with it. Well, 
because it ain't gonna fit, but I'll try and get the washer on. And then once we're done, we'll work on getting everything else done and dealt with. So, and this is where the coax cable goes in. I'm gonna make the whole about right here, another one in the toolbox, and then we'll start running cable. And this install will be done. Nice, quick, and simple. Sweet. All right, got her all done. I had to leave the nylon washer out, but wet washer's right there. Lock washer's underneath. The union's right there, and it's all nice and tight. There is no Loctite in between them because this is where communication goes. And the neighbor just came out talking to his dog. Well, both of them. Now, I already got the other cable. Ran through the hole in my firewall. That's going down. And let's crawl underneath. Now, the plan is to take it along the frame rail on the outside, if at all possible, and get it done, or I may just self-tap into the bottom. I don't know. I'm still going to have to freaking figure that out. But, for the most part, get that ran to the back, and then it's a straight shot up to the toolbox. So... I'm going to see what I can do and show you guys the end result. So, I got to get to it. Alright. What I've decided to do is, from the grommet in the wall where the amp cable goes through, I've ran it, zip tied it to one of the brake lines to get it away from the exhaust, and ran it underneath to where it goes into the wheel well. It is zip tied to one of the EVAP lines, then one of the harnesses. And you can see I have it fully up out of the way in those loops. And there's one at the very back. And then it comes up behind the cab and into the toolbox. Now, you do not run it with it like this. I still got a deburr, and then this is where grommets come in play. These allow you to seal it up, but to also keep this from getting chafed because this cable was not cheap. Now I got one more of those rubber loops left, but that's going to be in here to hold this out of the way after I get the grommets and everything set. So. I'm going to get to that, and then I'm going to see what happens when I turn the CB on. Alright. I have grommets on both sides. Keep the metal from getting into the cable. So that's good. Now let's see what happens when I turn the CB on. Now this is hooked up directly to the battery. So... screen off all right I gotta retune this sucker all right let's see if I can remember how to tune it I've got to retune this sucker, but for about a two-hour install, didn't do too bad. But for the most part, I'm happy with it. Everything's up out of the way, away from heat and so forth. 
And if you take your take it one step at a time, plus also plan ahead, which in this case I did, unlike some of my other projects, it goes pretty well. But one thing I also forgot to tell you is you will need zip ties, drill bits, and the grommets are necessary, no matter what. But also, two other playlists that are going to be showing up are one's going to be directly for Toolbox, any repairs I do on him. I have an RC car hobby I get into. I'm going to be rewiring one. And this is going to cover basic maintenance and so forth. And another is going to be called Life Lessons. That is going to be where I sit down, talk about things that happen in life from savings accounts and so forth. Which, trust me, now more than ever is prevalent in today's age. Because I have learned the hard way on a few things and I want to pass that on to you guys. That way you know what to do and go from there. As far as you don't make the same mistakes I did. So, other than that, quick update is I got parts ordered for the bush hog, wheels, some pulleys and so forth. We're going to start building the chassis next chance I get. I got to wait till next week to go to Winfield Iron Metal, get the box tubing, make some spindles. That way when the wheels get here, I can just, boom, bake them and get that thing prepped. Because soon that gets done, soon we get the engine on, all the pulleys and everything hooked up. And get to its first startup. And find out if there's other problems. Plus, it'll be ready for this coming spring and like I said in the previous video I am going to be building a new one but that one is going to be off of a newer mower like the husky we have here at the house no it's my mom's but you get the deal so other than that pretty simple install if you take it one step at a time plus also I got lucky in the fact I've done something like this before but for the most part is what it is so like subscribe comment follow me on my facebook and instagram page because i'll post photos of working on other projects and so forth and i'll catch you guys next time peace